The final week of the season is here, and that means Great League is back. As you may know, that's my favorite league, and I wanted to get this video out to you guys just as we had the option of playing Great League again. As you may notice, this is my usual setup, and that's because I'm on my way to Gdansk to compete in the Play Pokemon tournament there, in the regionals. And uh, so I recorded this video last night just to have it uh, ready for you guys uh, until Great League comes back. And I played two sets with this team as the final two sets before Great League uh, disappeared last time. So this footage is two weeks old. It was recorded for my Twitch account. I played two sets and I went nine and one with this incredible team. It's been around for a while, but it's just so good that I just, I'm just gonna show you the battles. So the team consists of uh, Deoxys Defense, Sableye and Mandibuzz. It's been number one on the leaderboard a couple of times. And as you see, we lead into a Claude Sire here. I go immediately for the Psycho Boost and then dip out. And in this matchup, the trainer faces me with a Steelix. If the Steelix player is a bit slow on the switch, then you uh, are in an adv advantageous spot. I thought here, okay, he spent a shield, I'll farm this down with DD. I'd be super, that'd be super fine with me. It turns out they threw their move, which is okay. I still get a couple of counters in, but ideally I wanted some more farm. So what I do here is I farm up with the DD. I keep track of how much energy they're at. And uh, I build up and just as about to get to the earthquake, I catch it on my Mandibuzz. Uh, this isn't a consistent play. And here I throw my Dark Pulse immediately because I thought, well, I just want to get some damage on this thing. And here comes their Alolan Sand Slash in the back. I guess this trainer does not really... Um, he hopes that it doesn't face a Swampert lead, but uh, still playable, I guess. Uh, my thinking here is that I have some energy and I'm gonna get to a move on the Mani Buzz. So I throw a move on the Sand Slash to burn the shield. And here, it doesn't matter if, to me if I take out the Claude or not with my DD, with energy or not. I have Mani Buzz, I have the DD, it should be manageable, and top left. Here I face a trainer of mine, I know. I and I face a Golizopod. It's a terrible lead for Defense Deoxys. I swamp out a bit late, which in my opinion is not ideal, but that's just how it is. Uh, and they come in Steelix, and I think to myself, well, this is gonna be hard because I already have a lot of energy on the DD, uh, but also I don't want to take an Earthquake. So I was not sure if they uh, were would be able to reach one, but they throw the Breaking Swipe anyway. They come in Gligar, and here I'm thinking, okay, I might have a chance, because the Gligar does not really hit my Mandibus with a lot of moves. I need to swap out to get rid of my debuff. And I, as I do that, the, they come in with Glycepot again. So very smart of them to come in Gligar against the Mandibus still. Uh, but their Glycepot is really energy dry. So I shield up the DD because I'm thinking the, uh, the damage shielded on DD would be more valuable than shielding in my Mandibuzz. So, and what I do is simply try to whittle the Gligar low enough so that I can take it out with my Mandibuzz. And I make kind of an unnecessary risk as I uh, go up to the Dark Balls, uh, but it ends up paying off and that's a GG. Against Defense Deoxys Mirror leads, I like to farm up a lot of energy and tank a move before I swap out. That is because we have two better answers to Defense Deoxys than uh, our Mirror matchup. But, uh, but our energy might be really valuable in the back, but it's not very valuable in the Mirror. Uh, so I swap out to Sableye and luckily we get out the Lantern here. Here I kind of just want to take shields. Uh, so that I can hit uh, the opposing Pokemon with the energy that I have with DD. When they come in Lickitung, I think to myself, you know what, Switch is not that important for me, because Mandibuzz is good into both, and the same as DD. DD's fine. Uh, and if they swap into the mirror, then okay, I get Lickitung and Mandibuzz, I'm happy. So 
Uh, I just basically tried to get Lickitung as low as possible to get my uh, Mandibuzz in the best position. I saved the shield for Mandibuzz because I know that the charge move that's going to hurt the most is the Thunderbolts from the Axis. Even though I didn't manage to get the catch with Sableye here, it puts the, the Deoxys into such a range that I can snarl down and have a lot of energy against the Lickitung that's coming out, and we take it out with an Aerial Ace. That's a GG. Against a Quagsire lead, we don't really have an amazing counter to Quagsire. So what I like to do is actually to tank a move on DD, which I don't do here, which is kind of stupid. So I go into Sableye, and now I feel like I kind of want a shield, but I still don't do that. So it's a bit of a weird play for me. Uh, yet, I shield up one Stone Edge. Uh, ideally, could have farmed down, but they wouldn't let me. And now they have a Shadow Charizard. And down a shield, this is looking really tough, as they are going to farm down my Sableye. I come in DD uh, and tank a Blast Burn, and I just want to take a shield, so I go immediately for the Psycho Boost. Because now I put the Charizard and whatever they have in the back in a uh, range where any charge move can knock it out. Uh, uh, shield up Mindy Buzz is really good in this meta, as long as they don't have Bastiat on or Carbink. And I'm able to outpace the Frostloss here. I'm uh, gambling that he's gonna bait a Blast Burn, but they don't. But Mandibuzz is so tanky that we live a Blast Burn. And that's gonna make us take out this game as well. I'm not exactly sure how many great leads DD was picking up for me, but it certainly isn't that bad. Because uh, there you get a lot of neutral matchups, and being able to Psycho Boost and Dip is really valuable in my opinion. So here I shield up my Sableye against the Shadow Gligar, and out comes a Dugong. They shield the first move as most Dugongs would like to shield the first move because they haven't gotten their debuffs in yet. So we get to a, f uh, a return and land it on the Dugong, and we even get to another foul play. That makes them double shield because they want to keep alignment. And even though these moves are gonna do some damage to Defense Deoxys, we can easily tank them. And we keep the Dugong away from the Mandibuzz, which is what we want. In the back, they have Medicham, which obviously is not that uncommon of a team. Uh, Gligar in the front is not unlikely to have a Medicham in the back. So I uh, go for the Aerial Aces with this Mandibuzz, and as it seems, I could have maybe saved, even saved the shield uh, against the Medicham, but, but I build up a, a lot of energy on the Mandibuzz, and I take maybe an unnecessary risk, as getting to uh, the Aerial Ace would have been enough in that situation, as I had the Psycho Boost loaded, which would have let me take out the Gligar in either way. Still, that's a 5 0. Oh, so, this team really served me well. This was the first set I did with this team and we go straight into the second set. And here we face a Clefable lead. This Pokemon beats our entire team, but DD is not that bad, because unlike Medicham, you don't have the weakness to Fairy. This team would, in my opinion, not work as well with Medicham in the lead as Defense Deoxys, because you would be triple weak to Fairy. And here I decided that I would just let my DD go, and come in with a Sableye, maybe try to farm down, but I lost a bit track of how much energy the Clefable had, so I just decided to throw the move, get it out of the way, and pray that we had some good matchups in the back. But they have a dumb sparse, so it's not looking very good for us. We tank one drill run, and then we bait the return, but they don't shield. So what I do is that I try to catch a drill run, and we do. So now the Dunsparce is kind of in a weird spot because uh, it has a good matchup against Sableye, but it also has a good matchup against Mandibuzz. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what's in the back yet, so I'm kind of confused by uh, the, uh, the plays this, tra this trainer is making. So I'm, I swap out to my Sableye again, try to uh, double team it, but they have a Trevenant. I undercharge it just slightly and I think I f***ed up. But, it turns out, it was the perfect farm down, and we get to a foul play, and we win the game. GG. 
We also face some Sableye leads, and I thought to myself, oh wow, we're never coming back from this. And they throw immediately, which they should, because that makes me not catch up to their turns. In comes a Lickitung, I bait a return, and I get it. And that uh, nets me the shield. I was not sure if I want to go double foul play or for the return here, but I went for the damage, as I wasn't exactly sure how uh, long till they get to the power whip. I decided to just uh, counter all the way down, get as much energy as possible. And this energy, uh, I'm gonna save. And come in Mandibuzz into the Sableye. And I'm getting confused because they're not swapping out here either. So I'm thinking to, my, to myself, what is this team and why is he staying in with Sableye? And it turns out they have a superior. This team was made famous by PV Poke. Uh, and King IV, if I'm not mistaken, and this team is really weak to Mandibuzz. So, as Mandibuzz basically core broke their entire team, uh, we're simply gonna go and take out this superior as soon as possible, because th that superior it can... Frenzy Plant still dents Mandibuzz, uh, and we won't even need the energy that we had in Sableye. So Mandibuzz, the MVP. In this next battle, we go up against the Ch Shadow Charizard, and this thing is terrifying. I go for the Psycho Boost because we're gonna get a shield anyway, and I don't want to. I don't want to spend so much energy on a Thunderbolt that's gonna get shielded. So what I do is basically that I go for the Psycho Boost, and we now get the Charizard so low, and we shield up a Blast Burn. Luckily, they also have a Shadow Sableye, and I'm... Oh, yeah, now I remember this battle. Shadow Shiny Charizard, Shadow Shiny Sableye, and the Pokemon in the back is gonna surprise you. Uh, I shield up this move and uh, take another shield with the DD, and we swap out to the Manibus, and they have a Shiny Shadow Weavile, which is absolutely insane. What a team from this trainer. And because we managed to swap out, we live a Shadow Avalanche from Weavile, and we outpace the two Aerial Aces. And as the Charizard has to throw energy to take out the Manibuzz, the DD can farm down, and it's a good game. This trainer had another Sableye in the lead, which, I mean, this second set we couldn't catch a break, but we still haven't dropped the game. So they, but then they come in Carbink, and Carbink walls up Sableye completely. So, uh, we try to just whittle it down, maybe get it into the uh, farm down range for Defense Deoxys, but it's looking bleak. I think we still try to go for the farm down, but uh, this Carbink is just so tanky. But what I'm thinking is maybe Mandibus can still core break the team for us in the back, and they have an Azumarill. And I decide to play this matchup out for a while because I've been thinking I have a lot of energy on DD. So maybe we can try to make something happen. But the aerial aces are just not really adding up against the Azumarill. So this is looking kind of bleak. We shield up a move and then we go and oh, we throw another aerial ace, yeah. Uh, just to try to get it low, but they're not willing to shield the Azumarill, and now we come in and throw Thunderbolt into a very low HP Azumarill, and yeah, this is just over. They're gonna farm us down with a Sableye, and there's no way we're coming back from this, so we top left. In this final game, we face off against a Lickitung, and ideally I'd like my Mandibuzz on this, but... I'd, I don't see how that's gonna happen because I don't really want to swap out to Sableye. So I stay in with DD, go for a Psycho Boost, and then swap because now the Lickitung is in a manageable um, range where Sableye can handle it. So uh, we shield up the Power Whip because I'm guessing that the Sableye is gonna be good in the back. Because usually when they have a Lickitung, that's their main Sableye answer. So we, and when we face their Sableye against our Sableye, I'm just really happy because our DD got to avoid it. But at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, sh shoot. I'm, I, I think shoot. Uh, he, he's weak to Lickitung, 
Uh, Lickitung and Sableye are both weak to Mandibuzz. So I'm thinking, oh, he's gonna be strong to Mandibuzz in the back. And it's an Alolan Sand Slash. And we try to just uh, get it as low as possible. We go for a shield with a Psycho Boost because then we get to a move on the Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz manages to take out an Alolan Sand Slash. And that's the two sets I had with this team. It worked out really well for me. So I recommend you to try it out because... Well, if you want to climb for a legend this final week, this is the team I would do it with. Best of luck, trainers, and see you in the next video.